What up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to teach you guys how to download Envato Elements templates and make them in After Effects. I'm going to show you guys how easy and simple this is. So go ahead and stick with me, get the download started, and let's dive into it. All right, guys, now that you guys saw the intro, you've seen how cool that was. It's super simple. These things are literally plug and play. So over here on the left-hand side in your drop-down menu, you're going to see Edit Projects. So we're just going to click the drop-down. Your logo goes here. Just double-click it. Now what we have to do is we have to replace this logo with ours. So we're going to click right here, and we're just going to grab our logo, and we're going to drag and drop our logo right in here. Merge layers because I have an AI logo. Okay, now that our logo has been dropped in, we're going to click on our logo layer right here, and we're going to hit S on our keyboard for scale, and we're just going to scale that down. And when I turn this on, and off this little eyedropper over here it'll reveal the logo behind it so I know that their logo was perfect size so what I want to do is I want to scale my logo down to be pretty much the same size and position that theirs was hit P for position I can move it up and then we're gonna hit s again for scale and just scale it just a little bit bigger now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here and I'm actually gonna hide their logo oh their logo is already hidden so it's awesome it's perfect you don't even have to see it so now when we go over here to our main transition you're gonna see the After Effects logo so the next thing we're gonna want to do is we're gonna want to change this text so you're gonna double click on your text over here and that's gonna open up your text box here I assume that they have two layers here for a reason they probably want them double stacked so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna change the color of this hex to purple like our logo click over here we're just gonna go down here and grab a purple color. And then we're gonna do the same thing right here. We're just gonna double click this one. We're gonna type Adobe and we're gonna highlight the After Effects part. We're gonna change that purple as well. And we're actually gonna use our eyedropper tool on this one. So we match the colors perfectly, hit okay. And then down here, we're gonna type tutorials and we're gonna go back over here to our main composition, make sure everything looks good. And that's it guys. So now we're just gonna export it and we're gonna render it out and then we're gonna be good to go. So before I go to export this, I want to explain something really quick. So now we have the ability to change this into what's called a Mogurt. So a media replacement for motion graphics, meaning in 2020, Adobe After Effects, Premiere Pro, every time I wanted to make an intro, I'd have to make it pretty much in After Effects, render it out, send it over to Premiere Pro as an MP4 file. And then I would be stuck with that logo, that saying, that slogan, everything like that. Now I can take this and turn it into a Mogurt, a media replacement for motion graphics, meaning I can create a Mogurt in here and I export it instead of rendering it out, I export it as a Mogurt file. And then in Premiere Pro over on our essential graphics panel, we can actually see that this actual template, I can just drag it right into the timeline. And then if I, if I designed it right in After Effects, I can actually change out that logo. So if I wanted to put a Premiere Pro logo in here, or I wanted to change that text at the bottom, I wouldn't have to constantly re-render things to actually do that. A couple awesome training videos, they'll be linked below. Do me a favor, if this video is helping you guys out, hit that subscribe button, please, and thank you so much. I appreciate every one of you guys, thank you. All right, so now let's learn how to export this. So we're gonna go up here, and we're gonna hit export, and we're gonna add to media encoder. I never do render quints, because if you export in render quint, it's gonna give you like a playback error. It's gonna export in like MOV format. For whatever reason, Apple no longer works with QuickTime. So if you go to play a QuickTime video, if it's in MOV format, it just doesn't work. So you have to download the VLC media player or just export them properly the right way. And this is how I export is specifically for YouTube exactly. So when you upload a video to YouTube, they compress it down to a certain size. So there's no point in uploading a 6K video because nobody's going to watch it in 6K on YouTube. YouTube's going to compress it down to their 4K size, which is right here. So the options here in our drop down list go up here. We have tons of different options of what format we can export this in. In my opinion, I always use YouTube. It's great. Even I've had people commenting on my GoPro videos like, man, how do you export? Like, what, what are you exporting this in? What format? your GoPro videos are amazing, especially for YouTube. This is it. So it's format H.264 and then preset YouTube 4K, UHD, Ultra HD. Output name, we're just gonna name this. I'm gonna save it over here to my After Effects intro templates. And then we're just gonna click the little play icon right here. Now what's gonna happen is it's gonna give you the amount of time that's already been running. And then over here, it'll be time remaining. So for me to export this template, you're looking at about four minutes, five minutes, give or take. And you can actually watch it play through here as it's going through and rendering out. So hopefully this video helped you guys out. Do me a favor, definitely smash that subscribe button. I'm working so hard to grow this channel. And if this video reached you and it helped you, do me the favor and help me. Thank you guys. Later.